New at 11 tonight, it is an email sent to hundreds of thousands of runners every year. A rejection letter of sorts from the New York City Marathon, and it's a crushing blow to many. But no one more so much as this man here, who saw his own face rejected in the race rejection. <laughs> Tonight, News 4's Jessica Cunnington explains what happened after his social media response to the snub went viral. Nick Parisi never thought he'd run a marathon, but he did. Similar as you would have said I was an internet meme for a weekend, I never would have believed you as well, so. Nick Parisi also never thought he'd go viral as the face of rejection, but he did. It's like, oh gosh. I'm the hate, most hated person in running. What? I didn't ask for this. If you were one of the nearly 165,000 people who put in an application for the 2024 New York City Marathon drawing, maybe you recognize him or this email and image sent out on March 28th to those who did not get in. It was not what people wanted to see, and it quickly spread on social media. Negative Nicholas just showed up in the inbox of 158,000 people today and used his finger guns to shoot down their hopes and dreams of running the New York City Marathon. My friends were saying, like, wait, you realize that that image is not just your email. Like, everyone's getting that. That's when he posted his own reaction to his rejection email. I was like, oh. I guess I'm delivering my own rejection letter today. Last week, he was at a weekly run in Central Park with the group Frontrunners New York. Looking for someone named Nick. When the New York Roadrunners CEO showed up. First of all, you know, our bad. Uh, I came just to offer you uh, a little bit of a condolence prize. Offering a guaranteed spot in this year's TCS New York City Marathon and a new nickname, Positive Parisi. <laughs> It'll be his second marathon within weeks of each other this fall. First up, the Berlin Marathon. He's on Fred's team raising money for cancer research in honor of his mom, who had a rare form of skin cancer and passed away in 2022. She was just always there telling me to keep going and to never stop and to continue to just reach further and further with my goals. Now, he says, New York Roadrunners pledged to match his fundraising efforts, hoping this viral moment can help amplify the greater goal. For me, knowing that I'm able to contribute to the research and to hopefully helping others who have been diagnosed with similarly rare cancers, um, it makes every run worth it. After all the memes and jokes, Parisi says he's grateful for new connections within the running community, along with the inspiration and signs from mom to run with it. Doing it for her, doing it for myself, and if I can run with her memory, it makes it even better. Jessica Cunnington, News 4, New York. Okay, well, Janice, I know you and I are rooting for positive Parisi. Yes, we are. What a great ending. Well. <laughs> it turned out okay. Yes, it did. Uh